Hey guys, so today I will show you how to create a lead generation campaign using the lead uh, form within Facebook. Okay, so let's move into it. So first thing first, I create my campaign here. I go for lead generation um, considerations, so objective here. And finally, I go to here. Uh, I, I put a name to my campaign, so let's say lead gain. No, just testing, obviously. Um, and then I can name my ad sets. I'm just going to call it um, ADS01. And then here I'm going to name my ad, ADS01. ADS01. Uh, continue. So here uh, at the campaign level, that's where I set up my budget. So usually if you are just starting new on Facebook, I would recommend you to go straight with campaign budget optimization. So basically you're gonna let Facebook optimize for you uh, the budget and spend it you know, uh, on your behalf. So we're gonna um, use, let's say $10 pound as a budget here. So we're gonna be using pound because this account is based in the UK. And then we're gonna keep it lowest cost here. Then next. So here we have to select our, so we need to make sure we select instant form. Okay, and then here we're going to select the page we want to uh, uh, use for our marketing. So let's say it's your double one. And then we uh, scroll, scroll down. So this catalog we don't need because this catalog is only used for e commerce and Shopify, you know, uh, website and businesses. So there is no need for it now since we're doing lead generation. Lead generation. So I scroll down here if I want to set, for example, a start and end date, I can actually. Set up here. If I want to keep it ongoing, I do not set it. So I will just keep it, I will just leave it open for now. And here that's where I build my audience. So let's say, for example, I will keep it very, very open. So let's say I'm going to put United Kingdom here. And I need to make sure if I want to target people only in this country, I need to make sure I only select living in. Because if I add recent location also, I can also target, for example, tourists, people who just visit the country and leave. I will also be targeting them. So I need to make sure I only select living in this location. Okay. Uh, next step, I select my age range, you know, 1865, whatever. The gender, if I, if I have any, you know, specific gender I want to target. And finally, data targeting. So here I can add some interest or demographic features like married, not married, and so on. So let's say I want to target married people. So I'll just go here, married. I'll just go back here. Uh, here, relationship study married. So now let's say I want not I want to target them not only uh, not only the married people but I want them also to like uh, let's say dogs. So I'm gonna narrow my audience. Let's say I'm I'm selling I don't know uh, you know pets you know food or whatever. So I just I will just select here let's say dog. So now what I have asked to Facebook to do basically I ask them to target for me people uh, living in the UK, aged between 18 or oh, let me just change this age because that makes sense age between 23 and 65 uh, both men and women who are married but also they love dogs for example obviously it can be anything you have like thousands of interest uh, but it's the one I have used just for the sake of this example and now let's say I can select the language for example if I want to if I have a very specific language I want to target if not I just keep it open and finally, uh, next step, once I'm done with this, I go next, so no need for you to touch that. And here, that's where I'm gonna uh, uh, um, put my copy, my ad copy, my creative, and that's where gonna, I'm gonna create my uh, my form, okay? So I scroll down here, I select the image I want to use. So there is already one, but just, you know, for the sake of this example, I'm gonna select one. Uh, it's loading, so let me select this one. I really like this one we have made recently. Just an example, like I know it doesn't make sense, you know, with the targeting and this image, but you know, just just for the the sake of the example. Um, so then I can put my text. Uh, hey, you know, blah blah blah. You know, uh, buy from us. You know, hey, it's a very very bad example of copies, uh, but you know, because <laughs> um, I just want to make it quick. Uh, like minus 50% discount 
available now. Okay, I don't need to it. And then, uh, so here you see how I have, I can see my ad, how it looks like. So my copy is here, uh, my image here, and my headline. Now, usually for the uh, lead form, I will use the lead uh, learn more um, uh, call to action. I can also use get quote or get offer if it's, uh, you know, it's an offer. If it's, for example, a quote, like a contractor, for example, I can use this one. But usually I use learn more because, you know, that's that uh, sparks curiosity and people want, want to know more. And once they click, they, they land on the on the lead form. Uh, and now here I'm going to create my form. You can see I have already some forms. So I'm just, I'm just going to duplicate one and show you how it looks like. So this one is for dental consultation. So I'll just duplicate this one. Okay. So first of all here, I put a name on my campaign. And here I can add an introduction. Um, as you can see, I have already made one here. So the headline says, book your 50% off dental, uh, dental impact consultation this week. Blah, blah, blah. And then once people click on the next button, if I scroll down here, so here I have my text. I can also make it a list. And then I add my question. My question is basically what information I want them to provide me. So here I kept, I kept it basic. So email, full name, and phone number. And finally, once they fill that, uh, then obviously the privacy page. So I just put the, the link of the website. And then completion. So this is the the um, the text they're gonna see once they fill the form. Here I say thank you. Please call us blah blah, blah and use the code now when you call or something we help you blah, blah This we grant you fifty percent off consultation. Okay. And here on the call uh, to action uh, button, so I put call business because I want them to call, but I can get them to download like uh, let's say a document or view a website and so. On. So here I put call and then here I put the, I need to make sure I put the country code so the the country and here I put the the phone number. Okay, and uh, people basically once they fill the form and they land here, they're gonna be able to call me here by clicking here. They can call me to reserve the offer. Okay. Um, so yeah, so um, this is how you build and then you publish. And once done with all this, then you just publish your campaign and it will go in review. Once approved, it will go live. So um, so yeah, so this is how you create a um, lead generation campaign from scratch. I hope this video was useful and yeah. As usual, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be very happy to answer it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.